Gemini, welcome to Group with Two Tarot, and this reading is uh, from 23rd of October, sorry, 22nd of October to 28th of October. So let's check what is the message for you. Excuse me. Messages for Gemini. Three of Agents. Ten of Chalices. and king of pentacles so here we have three of agents with the three of agents it's about losing something uh, that you feel uh, was necessary for you or probably you had this idea that you cannot do without this person. Maybe many of you were at the point where you felt like uh, this person be, is gonna be the one. I mean your life partner or you can say um, your spouse. Seems like many of you had decided to get married clearly with this ten of chalices. Um, you people seem to be in love and uh, there is this beautiful story, but uh, with the moon, many of you may come across something that you don't understand. There could be something beneath the surface that this person might be hiding and uh, you would have no idea what to think about it and what to say to them or what to expect from them because uh, they might have broken your trust. Or this could be something that is just not okay with you, but you don't know how to express yourself. Could be about uh, their habits or their addictions that you have recently discovered. And uh, maybe you feel like uh, this is not going to work this way. And three of agents is about that only. You may have this feeling that nothing will get um, back on track. Many of you might have lost a relationship already because of uh, these things, those hidden, hidden secrets that you might have discovered and you feel like you cannot cope up with that. Many of you might feel like uh, walking away. If you feel that way, universe is telling you that you need to take your time. I mean, uh, don't be in a hurry because with the battle wagon, you might feel like you need to sort out something as quickly as possible because of course you don't like this feeling of separation, you don't like this feeling of uh, staying away from them. So, this battle wagon is telling you that you have control over your life, you can go wherever you want to, but at the same time you have to be aware of where you are and what you want. Maybe things are moving really fast and you might be feeling like time is slipping out of your hands. If you don't say something today, if you do not sort out something today, uh, maybe you will lose this relationship tomorrow and there is this desperate uh, desire to figure out everything as quickly as possible but at this point the more you will try the more you will make it complicated the universe is telling you take some time and relax because uh, there is a lot to the story with this king of pentacles you may discover that this person is someone who is actually not on the same page with you and that is the problem here 
you are emotionally more mature, you are more understanding, you are connected to them deeply. They too are connected to you, but not that deep. This person is still feeling like other things matter, other things should be their priority. This king of pentacles is thinking about practical things. They feel that uh, romance can wait. And in fact, you both shouldn't get uh, committed at this point. Maybe you will discover something and if you ask something, this person will come up with explanation that, okay, I was about to tell you that um, this is not something to worry about. I will sort it out and you are overthinking and um, we can discuss it, discuss about it uh, later. It could be anything. No matter what the issue is, this person will try to tell you like uh, um, things can wait and uh, you both can sort out things later. So certainly time is not slipping out of your hand if you felt like uh, you are going to lose them. This person is not someone you can lose. Okay, they will stay in touch. They are not going anywhere. So work on this relationship if you want to, or at least sort out what's bothering you. At least uh, try to figure out what your subconscious is trying to tell you. If you want to walk away, if you're not okay with it, if you can't wait for things to unfold, um, at this point, the best would be to be away for a while from these issues okay so of course this is a general reading this may not resonate with everyone the energy could be reversed as well also you can check your moon and rising sign let's go ahead and check some more messages for you the chrome of Athens two of Pentacles the world tree the sun So, the situation you are going through is very complicated and you, need, and you need a lot of strength here. And you have it, by the way. The universe is telling you that uh, you have both intuition and strength. And definitely, you can use your strength wisely here because uh, the wisdom inside you knows what to do next. With this 10 of 8 ends, you will have this urge to seclude yourself or to um, get out of something if it is uh, like that take your time because um, having boundaries is no coin in fact uh, you shouldn't be worried about what others are thinking about you or how others will feel if you take your time because uh, with this two of pentacles it's them who have put you in this uh, dilemma and with the world tree, it's about uh, finding the world inside. So the best thing you can do at this point is to connect to your spirit, listen to your intuition, and the sun will be out soon. Okay, maybe you are stuck somewhere, but uh, don't think that uh, you know the situation won't change because three of eight times could be about that. You might be thinking like. Uh, uh, your situation would never change or you won't get anything uh, that you want in your life and everything will be taken away. No. The sun is telling you that it's going to bring you light and warmth. Let's check an oracle mask for you. Hope. Love and acceptance. Love is yours, recognize your divine work, choose loving thoughts. So here, this card is telling you that you need to love yourself, you need to accept yourself, and uh, love is all yours. You don't have to think like uh, 
you're not made for love, you're not going to find someone who loves you. You need to recognize your divine worth. You need to understand what you deserve. And uh, what you deserve doesn't come easy. Before that, we have to learn many lessons and uh, it's with everyone. So choose loving thoughts, choose uh, something better and definitely this is going to work. So this was the reading uh, for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Next video. Bye.